Hey guys, Chris here. Um, going to show you today how to um, create your own uh, free ringtone using uh, GarageBand 10, um, iTunes, and obviously your iPhone. Um, I don't know what the process is now. I think on iTunes you can still like pay to have a ringtone made, maybe. Um, but I've kind of known about this um, little way of doing it for quite a while, and it's nice to make your own ringtones. I don't, I don't know if people still make their own ringtones or if they really care. Um, but for those who do like to have a customized ringtone um, whenever your phone rings, this is a pretty simple way to do it. So uh, we're going to use the song Mr. Blue Sky um, just because it's pretty much the only song really I have on my computer right now. So I'm going to fire up GarageBand. Again, this is um, GarageBand 10, I do believe. Yeah, 10.0.2. Um, you'll see I have a uh, project already going. This is a podcast I do called Rock Paper Podcast. We record a cool band tonight called Bruiser Queen. Um, cool people to talk to, so check that out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new file. Um, and anybody who's used GarageBand probably, seeing, probably has seen, hey, there's a ringtone option there. So um, obviously you're going to choose the ringtone option. Go ahead, choose. So it comes up and you can create your sweet own personalized custom one made of loops if you'd like, or um, you can bring in an audio device uh, from your computer. Um, there's two ways to do it. Um, obviously if I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I can drag it, or if you click this little file right here, you can see exactly um, what files you have in your iTunes, or if you had an old GarageBand file you can use. Um, I just prefer to drag it in because it's just easier to trying to find whatever I'm looking for. So. Uh, so let's bring that file in here. Drag it in. I was just bringing it up to the beginning. Uh, I'm not going to customize like what part of the song I want because this is just for kind of it's showing you purpose. Um, so this up here is your your bar to show kind of how long the the ringtone is going to go. Um, if you click up here, you can change it to actual time length. So what it's set at now um, is about 36, 38 seconds. Um, I don't know. Just go about 30 seconds. Just because uh, your phone normally doesn't ring that much longer anyway. Um, so that's 30 seconds. Um, now let's say you're gonna um, use middle part of a song. So what you can do, you can either uh, pull this over to whatever part of the song you're gonna start at, or for me personally, I like to just um, go and cut whatever part of the song I like. So let's just say I wanted to start right here. Come in here, I hit Command T. Oh, select it, hit Command T. That cuts it. You can get rid of this by selecting it, hit delete, and then just drag this to the beginning. Um, I prefer to do it that way. You can do it however you want, but you know, whatever. So, uh, so let's say you want it from that part of the song. Um, then you come here. You don't have to cut this part because really it's only going to record this this whole area up to the end of your yellow spot. But that's totally up to you. Um, just because I want to, I'm going to delete there. Gets rid of it. So this is your ringtone right here. Um, just side note, you can get rid of this audio file that's here if you want by hitting Command Delete. Be gone. So here it is. Um, I don't know if it's going to play, if you'll be able to hear it. Let's see. I don't know if it hurt. If you did, cool. But um, okay, so here is my ringtone. Now uh, we want to export it to iTunes. Um, so you're going to ringtone to iTunes. Go up here, hit share, ringtone to iTunes. Pretty straightforward. Again, it's not really that complicated if you didn't really know the uh, the feature exists. You can see one of my uh, other ringtones I made, Jetpack Blue, Sunset Hughes. Uh, theme song for the Nerds podcast. Pretty cool. So here is my uh, ringtone. Again, if I would have saved it, I guess, under something like uh, Blue Sky would have shown up here. You can just click on it once, change it to Blue Sky, whatever you want your ringtone to be called. Um, you'll notice here, Normally it pulls up right under ringtones, but if it doesn't, uh, if it pulls up default to music, just do a drop down, go to tones, sweet. Um, so you see here's my phone right here. It's all set up, sweet, awesome. You can go and see what tones I have, which I don't right now. Um, actually, I don't think I have my phone set up to, oh yeah, I do have manually, okay. So I think you have to have it set up to manually manage music videos. Um, I have a different video for that if you want to go check that out, but you may just be able to sync it and you're good. Um, so let's go to library. I'm going to click this and drag it to my i to my uh, iPhone. I'm using my laptop instead of a keyboard, so it's kind of a uh, goofy. But um, so if I go to my iTunes, 
I go to my tones. I think it should be in there now on this iPhone. Tunes, there you go. It's kind of goofy how they have it set up. Like you'd think if you just went to tones, it'd be there. But I think that's just for syncing purposes. So you want to go to on this iPhone. That's where you can see what music it is. Thank you, uh, Apple, for our U2 album. I haven't gotten that off of. Um, get your movies, TVs, all that stuff, podcasts. Um, but yeah, go to tones. It's sitting there. And then you should be all set to go. If you look at your phone, um, your iPhone, and you go to, I'll unplug it here. Uh, you'll be able to see it, but I'll just explain. If you go to settings, and then go to general, um, and not general, I'm sorry, um, sounds, and then go to ringtone, you will see it on there, and this may rock out, but yeah, so cool. So that's really how you do it. Um, like I said, create a ringtone in GarageBand, uh, set the, the length, export it, and bring it to iTunes, and then just drag and drop it to your phone. So. Hopefully that helps, and you can make some awesome ringtones for yourself. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them, uh, kind of give you any direction you need to on doing this, uh, or once you actually have it on your I, your iPhone, how to get it there. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like, and share with your friends who also may want personal ringtones. Thanks.